Hi Year 6 and welcome to Thursday's science lesson. So today's lesson is going to bring together everything that we've done in the last few lessons and it's going to kind of end our um, piece on evolution before we move on to look at other things in science next week. So you are going to create a kind of double page spread. So where we do it in school, in our books, and if you've got exercise books at home, then you can do the same. We use a double page spread and we just fill it with everything that we know about a subject that we've learned about for a few lessons. So it's going to be the equivalent of that. If you don't have an exercise book at home, you can just use a piece of paper and make yourself like a big poster or you can use a couple of bits of paper you can do it however you want really that doesn't matter but what you are going to do is include all of your knowledge from the last two sessions so i'm going to explain this is my example a kind of model of it i'm going to explain the kind of sections you might have and then i'm going to go through and give you a reminder of what all the things mean in case you've forgotten if you didn't um do the last few lessons then i'll put on the web i've put on the website um all of the resources so the videos to watch the things to read um we read yesterday i read a book about a moth example so all of that stuff i'll put together um under the science stuff so that if you want to go back to it you can hopefully if you followed the lessons all week you will have some notes already um stored somewhere to go back to so you obviously need a title of evolution somewhere you can add in some kind of picture that you think exemplifies it and then you probably need to talk about what evolution is what natural selection is which is the kind of specific way that um, Charles Darwin explained evolution you're going to need to tell us about Charles Darwin himself and what did he do you can include as much or as little information as you want there and then you can give some examples and we've looked at key, two key examples, the finches um, on the Galapagos Islands and the peppered moths from the book that I read yesterday. And you could talk about one or both. You might also want to include, um, as this is a big nonfiction spread, you might want to include a glossary of terms. So any words that you um, talk about that are technical and specific, you might want to give a list here with key vocabulary but you can be creative with it so you need these paragraphs you need to have pictures to support it but you can set it out however you like i'm really really looking forward to seeing them because the double page spreads you usually produce in um school are fabulous and people get really creative with them and just cover it in knowledge and just show everything you know so i'm really hoping you can manage to try and create recreate that at home um really see how much effort you can put in uh, and see if you can really do something that you're proud of and show off what you've been learning at home and then remember to email it through to either me or Miss White. I'm going to go through now just a couple of those points on there in case you're feeling a bit shaky about what those things actually mean. So um, we'll just remind ourselves what is evolution, what is natural selection, Who's Charles Darwin? What did he do? And those examples I would just talk you through. So you might feel like you don't need to hear this, in which case stop the lesson now. You know what you need to do. Go off and spend your time putting together your double page spread. If you feel like you need me to talk you through it again, then listen on. OK, so what is evolution? So evolution is talks about the theory of how animals have changed over time. So how we like we used to have uh, dinosaurs and other animals um, around at that time. Some animals um, so have survived. Some animals don't survive and become extinct. And within species, animal characteristics change over time. Now, Charles Darwin a was a scientist who gave his theory of evolution of how things change. And he thought it was through natural selection. Natural selection is the process where, in nature, it happens naturally, nobody gets involved. Animals who best survive in an environment will pass their characteristics onto, um, onto their offspring, their children, and then they will have those characteristics. And so the animals who are adapted best to survive in an environment will be the ones that flourish, the ones that have more and more and more. And those animals who are not well adapted to an environment will eventually die out because they will be eaten by predators, they'll die in another way, and they won't be able to create offspring. So that is natural selection. 
the couple of examples of that um, that um, we've looked at. One was the finches. So these are birds, the finches that Charles Darwin actually studied and found when he traveled to the Galapagos Islands. Um, and we looked at, you will have read about that and looked at that in the previous lessons. And he found that different finches on the different islands had slightly different beaks. So they were all birds, they were all finches, but they were different in their beaks depending on the food that was available on that island. So some of them had sharp, long beaks, some of them had wider beaks, etc. Because they'd adapted to um, the environment. So that adaptation wasn't so much about uh, predators it was about food supply and so the the um, animals who naturally had smaller beaks perhaps were able to pick up little seeds better and so therefore they were the ones that survived best and their children had smaller beaks and eventually all or most of the finches on that island had smaller beaks the other example that we looked at was the peppered moth and i read you a story yesterday and it's still up on youtube um and it was it's a book it's a story book about the moths but the story is real um it was about how within the species of peppered moths some of them were like speckled freckled light colored moths and others um were black charcoal colored dark wings now there was lots more originally there was lots more of the light speckled moths because they could camouflage really well onto the trees and they were less likely to get eaten by predators whereas the charcoal colored moths stood out on the trees and predators could easily get them now after the industrial revolution where lots more factories uh, came in the trees ended up getting covered in pollution and soot and were a lot darker and then actually the charcoal moths survive better because they could camouflage themselves against the soot on the trees so more speckled moths got eaten uh less charcoal moths got eaten so they were able to reproduce and their offspring were also charcoal and eventually there was more charcoal moths okay and that did change back again to more of the light moths as the uh, pollution died off so that's an example of it happening so the finches and the moths are two things that you could talk about and you could draw pictures to help now, who was Charles Darwin and what did he do? So Charles Darwin was a, um, as I said, he was a scientist and he, um, he was around in the 1800s and he was really, really interested in animals and plant life and how it changed over time. And in 1831, he was invited to go on a trip uh, around the world on a ship called the HMS Beagle and he traveled around the world looked at different uh, went to loads of different islands and looked learnt about the plants and the animals there and he took lots of samples and brought some things home and he studied them and he basically based his um, theories on what he'd found so he gathered evidence and decided that the best theory um, of evolution was this theory through natural selection and animals evolving over time that was the best explanation sorry that was the best explanation for what he saw so in your Charles Darwin paragraph that's the kind of thing that you could write about there and he'd also written the book on the origin of species and I showed you some pages from a kind of child's adapted picture book version of that as well so hopefully that has helped. If you've got your own notes anyway, that would be brilliant. Go off and create your double page spread. And I really look forward to seeing uh, your work. Thank you for listening.